can I still be a flight attendant if I am chubby or overweight? Hey guys, it's Miss Kakris and welcome back to my channel. This is actually an advice channel for all people who want to be a flight attendant. And today's uh, video is going to be a part of the series that we're that is going on in the channel. It's an ongoing series. Okay, so we're in uh, on this series. I keep on answering questions that you might have about uh, if you can still be a flight attendant. If so and so and so is your situation. Okay, so if you want to know the answer to that question, just keep on watching. this idea of a flight attendant wherein they are supposed to be sexy, skinny, tall, beautiful, okay? But um, what I just want to make a point here on this video is that we all have our own definitions of beauty. Some people define beauty as somebody who is voluptuous, is beautiful to them, someone stick and bone, stick and bones or skin and bones, okay, just like <laughs> sometimes people find that attractive and sometimes don't, okay, so naturally, beauty is something that we cannot put in one category, so that's my belief, and as well as when it comes to the industry of being a flight attendant, that is also true, very true, that is why the people who are hiring for flight attendants, they hire from different variety of beauty okay you can see there is a chinita beauty there is a morena beauty there is a, a united states kind of beauty european beauty and then there's the afro beauty so there is no one specific standard of beauty and the airlines know this they know this for a fact that's why when it comes to weight, they don't always hire only the, the skinny ones. That's so wrong. That's not true. Actually, it could be you could be in trouble if you are too skinny. Aside from the standard of beauty that we have, okay, that's settled, we all have different types of beauty. And so they hire different kinds of women, okay? Whether you are chubby or skinny or in the middle, they will still hire you if you are uh, somebody that adheres to all the requirements and the standards that they need in their specific airline okay so having said that there is something that we also call a BMI or the body mass index you have this is like a measurement of how much weight you should range from with your specific height so this is a very specific measurement and this is not to judge but this is something that is done medically to measure how healthy you are, okay? So the lifestyle of a flight attendant is not the lifestyle of an 8 to 5 employee. We all know that. It's a different lifestyle. There are days that you will not be able to sleep at night. And there are days that um, your days are very long. Sometimes it's very short. It's dynamic and it's spontaneous. So they need people who are healthy enough to do the job and what is the number one indicator of health it is your weight okay it is your height and weight proportion so that is what bmi measures okay so if you have a specific height like for example for me i am 160 uh, 65 centimeters so i'm supposed to have a weight that is 52 to 62 kilograms Okay, so those are the, the weight that I have to be in to be considered healthy, to be considered somebody who is capable to do a physical job, which is the job of a flight attendant. It's a physical job. Whether or not that my weight is like, for example, uh, under or over it, whether or not I look chubby or I look skinny, as long as I'm within the normal range, I'm in. Okay, so my my advice for you guys is don't be too harsh on yourself when you're judging yourself listen to the voices that keeps on replaying on your head voices that says you're too chubby you're too fat um you're too um you're not you're never going to be a flight attendant these are voices that are going on in our heads and we 
as the person who wants to become a flight attendant, we have to be aware of this. That sometimes it is our own minds that is stopping us from our dream. So make sure that you catch them, put them in the same on a light, put them on a spotlight, and see if it is really true. Check your BMI. Check if you are within the range or within that. If you are somebody who's considered like really obese or uh, really out there, then take steps to correct that okay take steps to reach your ideal weight ideal weight is not just one weight it's a range of weight okay so it's like like i said 52 to 62 something like that so just focus on being healthy because that is the main reason that is the main factor that they're looking for for a candidate okay you have to be kinder to yourself you have to be your own best friend. You have to be your own cheerleader. You have to be the number one person that tells yourself, this is okay. Get it all. Get it boom. I can do this, okay? So that's how you should be, okay? So that's all that I have to say about the topic of overweight. I cannot really say um, specific things because the, the weight issue is will depend, it will depend on your height as well. So each and every one of us has different um, height and weight, um, you know, different height and uh, different weight range that we need to be in. I want to introduce you guys to my book. This is called the Ready for Takeoff, um, Eight Proven Steps to Get to Your Dream Job as a Flight Attendant. And this is a book that I have written. Uh, I've been trying to write ever since I started my blog. But I just finished it this year and um, it's now available on Amazon.com. It's also available on Shopee.ph and on my website, MissCakeRace.com. If you are from the Philippines, I ship every Sundays and the cutoff for orders is every Saturday. So make sure that you order before Saturday. And this book is the best um, insider guide that you will find out there about the topic of um, trying to apply for a flight attendant and everything was just inside um, everything that I learned from eight years of trying to get the job as a flight attendant and what is it what are the things and what are the preparation that helped me get got the job for myself <laughs> okay and uh, hopefully for you as well so make sure that you check it out um, you can see the links down below in the description box and yeah that's my book and that's it guys thank you for watching this video and uh, thank you for being with me i really enjoy this kind of sit down video so easy to make yay and if you have any other questions um related on this series make sure that you put it on the comments below and i will hopefully feature it on the next video okay thank you so much for watching guys and i hope to see you on the next one fly with you soon bye